Hey, what's up, everybody? Afro Joe here. Uh, y'all heard about the whole Amanda Berry, Gina D, Jesus, and Michelle Knight that was held captive for 10 years by a retired bus driver. And it, it kind of reminds me of the whole J.C. Dugas story. Uh, y'all remember in the J.C. Dugas story, she was held for what, some odd years. And nobody knew she was there. But I tell you this, like I said, these stories are kind of similar in a way. They've been held for 10 years. J.C. Dugard's been held for some odd years, too. And her and J.C. Dugard's captor got her pregnant twice. Now, this Amanda Berry, she got pregnant by her captor. They said it was supposed to, there was five kids that was born. They don't know how many survived or what happened, but the one... Everybody noticed there was one that Amanda Berry had. Now, like I said, the reason why I say it's like the J.C. Dugas story is because J. If y'all remember, J.C. Dugar was captured for some odd years. Nobody knew she was there. But her captor, like the captor's neighbors, knew that he was not supposed to be around kids. So when his probation officer came the neighbors was telling the probation officer he's not supposed to have kids he's not supposed to be around kids there's kids in the backyard he's not supposed to be around them kids and J.C. Dugar's captor told the probation officer those are my brother's kids but they find out later that his brothers doesn't have kids and and one thing about it was that These three girls, Amanda Berry, Michelle Knight, and Gina DeJesus. I know I'm saying their last name wrong. You know, was captured for 10 years and nobody knew. Nobody knew until one day this man, Charles Ramsey. Charles Ramsey. I don't know what it was, but I respect this man because he didn't have to save these girls. He could sit there and say, oh, how can you say he, could, he couldn't save these girls? If it wasn't for him getting up to see what was going on and going next door and helping Amanda Barry out and getting her out of that house with her child and calling 911 and doing the right thing, them three girls would have still been in that house if he did not do anything. And I give him kudos, kudos. Because this man did not have to help nobody. Did not have to help nobody. And he did, he got up and helped these, helped, helped them in the barrack, he called 911. And he, he did the right thing. And one thing is, man, is, and, and one thing that, one thing that I see about is like, he, he did something great. <laughs> did something great man to save these girls from this bus driver retired bus driver and the funny thing about it the captors of these three girls his daughter is in jail for murder of the ch uh, her child and not Charles Ramsey this is Charles Ramsey, not Charles Ramsey child but I, I see like this man if it wasn't like I said before if it wasn't for this man that if it wasn't for this man, those girls would still be in there and nobody knew. Nobody would never know. And I'm I'm pretty much proud of this guy. I know there's people around the world around this country say, like, Well, you saved three girls and he's like he did the right thing. He did the right thing because he 
did something that some people wouldn't do. He did something that most people wouldn't do. They would have sat there and and just didn't do nothing. But I'm glad he did. I'm glad he did. I'm glad he got up and did something about it. And um, it's, and it's and it's something else to see this man <sighs> go out. At, no, I can't say go out his way. He was at home eating. He was at home eating, and he heard a knock, a banging on the door or something. A, a noise coming from next door. He gets up. He goes next door. Amanda Barry's at the door. Says, "I'm stuck in here. I've been here for some odd years." Can you help me? He thought oh, it was a domestic violence thing. So he tried to open the door. So he actually busted down the door. And helped her. And she crawled out with her child. He calls 911. Didn't know who the girl was at the time until he called 911. Oh, hey man, we need, you need an ambulance? You could say, you could say hey, it was funny when he said you need an ambulance. He called and realized that he just saved a girl that was been trapped for 10 years. Like I said, if it wasn't for this man doing that, three girls would have still been stuck in that house for 10 years. <laughs> still. Been missing. These two, these two girls, well, the third girl didn't, want to, didn't have a picture, so three girls was captured in the house. Michelle Nice, Amanda Barrett, Gina De Jesus was stuck in the house for 10 years. 10 years. And it makes me proud of these, to, 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 to these people that. Makes me proud of these people because they doing a. He, he got up and did something. That's like some, half of y'all would have been sitting on here. I want to say, I want to do this shit alone. Y'all want to do. Is shit. And I sit here and I look at it and I say, this guy <laughs> just got up and went next door. He got up, went next door, saw the girl was in trouble, and he helped her. He sh he could have not helped her. He could have sat around. He could have acted like nothing happened. But he didn't. He got up. He went out. He helped the girl get out that house. He did the right thing by helping somebody out, getting them out of the, uh, get the girl out of a situation that she was in. And then you gotta sit there and look at this man. So he did the right thing. He helped this girl. He's a hero in a way. You can sit there and say, "Oh, he's not a hero. He didn't do anything." Yes, he did. It's called saving three lives. Well, actually, saving four lives. He saved four lives. <laughs> he saved four fucking lives then. That's something else. And And it makes it, it ought to make people proud to see that there's still good people out there in the world. And that's how it is. I don't make you see that. <laughs> that there's still good people out there in the world. And that's how I see it. That's how I see it. Like I know y'all gonna try to badmouth this guy. Oh, he didn't do nothing. He didn't yada yada yada. But the guy did do something. He helped three lives. He helped three lives. He couldn't, but he did. <laughs> Excuse me. But. That's how I see it, man. The man got a, did something right. Two girls have been missing for 10 years. And, one, and he... Oh, Ray had sex with these three girls. One had a child. And all this and that. That's how I see it. That's bad to see three girls. And Sylvia, Sylvia Brown, the most the world's famous psychic, Told the parents, oh, they're dead. Oh, yeah, 10 years later, they're alive. And, and the neighbor, Charles Ramsey, saves them. Oh, your kids are dead. 
but I'm just think I'm just glad they're all right and okay and doing doing okay. But they gonna need a lot of help. I, mean, I give thanks to this Charles Ramsey man to saving these three girls. You could sit there all day and night say, oh, he didn't save three girls. He saved one. If you look at it like this, if you did not go next door and save one of them, all three of them would have been still in there. So he did save three, not just one. And that's how it is. And that's how I'm telling it. <laughs> uh, ladies and gentlemen, follow me on uh, Twitter and Afro Joe the Wookie. Uh, subscribe, uh, follow me on Tumblr. Subscribe to my channel, CLOG2, CLOG3. And tell me what you think about this whole situation. Because to me, I think this guy did the right thing by stepping up and saying three people. No, four people. Because he, they, their captors could have did more than what he did. This is Afro Joe Tim like it is. Tis. Like I say, man, do the right thing, man. When it comes down to certain situations, do the right thing. Because I know Charles Ramsey did. He got the nappy hair going on, but he did the right thing. But you see what I'm saying? Like I said, do the right thing. But uh, this has been Afro Joe Tim like T.I. is, man. I, I give him kudos. I, give, I got a lot of respect for Charles Ramsey. Like I said, I got a lot of respect for him. Next, I don't know. Tell me what you think about this situation. Did you think Charles Ramsey was a hero? Did you think he did the right thing? Or he just had a stumble on the sun he didn't know nothing about? Tell me what you think. This has been Afro Joe Chen, like TAS again. Holla at me.